Have you ever wondered how flash drive can save its memory? A flash drive actually relies on the technology of the floating gate transistor. This is how a floating gate transistor may look like. For this example, we are using an NPN transistor which serves as a switch to pass current from the source to the drain. Initially, no current is allowed to pass through the transistor because there is a depletion zone between the N-type and the P-type transistor. This is caused by the electrons, combination of electrons from the N-type and the holes from the P-type. To pass current through from the source to the drain, a positive charge will need to be applied at the word line and at the bit line. This will result in a bridge that causes the electrons to rush from the source to the drain. This, a few electrons will also be passed through the vector oxide into the floating gate by a process known as tunneling. The, this electron will remain stuck in the floating gate as the floating gate is now elect, is electrically isolated due to the oxide layer surrounding it. Even when the power is switched off, the electron will remain and can be read as by the flash drive as a binary one. The electrons can be flushed out of the floating gate by applying a negative voltage at the word line. This will cause the, this will cause the electron to be repelled out and now the floating gate will become empty. And the flash drive will actually read this as a binary zero. The 1 and 0 will form a bit, and when many floating gate transistors are connected together, there will be a string of binary numbers 1 and 0, such that they can become useful data. For example, according to the ASCII code, a character will require, actually, will require 8 bits of data, and a character of number 9 will have the data 0011001. Imagine you have written an essay and just by counting the number of characters, punctuation and spacing, the number of bits of data required will be 8 times of that count. This means that a lot of floating gate transistor will be required just to store your essay. Currently, a flash drive is able to store much more data than just an essay. Hence, there are millions and even billions of floating gate transistors in it which is made possible with today's modern technology.